This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFPÖ. My name is Paul and this is the 44th episode recorded on the 3rd of June 2017 and we have a return guest it is me yay it's you it's me for the uninitiated who doesn't know the 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 the, the show because the subject will draw in people who are not regularly watching Austrian TV shows and movies yay. so who are you my uh, name is Georg Raubo and I'm an actor writer comedian yes stuff like that yes man and I'm here for the second time. Yeah, yeah. Gla after, glad, after, glad to be back. Yeah, glad to have you back, man. Thank you for being here, especially after the that I've put you through yeah. uh, CC <laughs> CC <laughs> three, the, the third CC movie. Yeah, I, I think you 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 you've earned now yeah. a redemption movie to watch a good movie for yeah. once. Yes. Yeah, and then we. Like we went through the list and you were like, yeah, let's do this. I yeah. don't want even to hear the rest. Let's I let's earned go. this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I suffered through Sissy part three and now yeah. we're watching. Casablanca. Oh. Yes. The 1942 American made movie starring Humphrey Bogart as the cynical Rick. Yes. Ah, that's the first cynical Rick, I guess. Maybe, maybe that's why, why Rick from Rick and Morty is also called Rick. Well, I don't know. About, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Excellent, Rick. <laughs> it's, it's it's all you, in the purple. You, you also had some. So you had some pre gaming, uh, uh, pre training. Yeah, some. Training. I can burp forever. Yeah, nice. Forever burp. Forever, uh, forever burp. Yes. Yeah, so, morning. morning. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. We we are already classing up this Casablanca Yes, this movie. is starting. <laughs> Very well, one minute in, two minutes in, and not one talk about yeah. the actual movie. So let's yeah. get right into it. Yeah, of course. Let's do our first so segment, and that's plots. For the people who haven't watched Casablanca, it was yet, the first time watching for me. It was the first time for me, even too. though it's a classic. Even, yeah, and even though like 80% of the scenes you have seen somewhere else in some other movie that pays yeah. homage <laughs> to this movie. Like there was so much, so much fucking shit in here where like, yes. yep, I know this already. Oh, I know this. I think I knew most of it through The Simpsons alone. Yes, yes, The Simpsons did yeah. a lot of Casablanca covering. Like you could probably recut. They Casablanca their own show with scenes from there. Um, I, <laughs> you can't handle the pun. <laughs> 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 What's the sound of a tumbleweed rolling by? <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah. No tumbleweeds in this one. That's true. Even though it's in Morocco. like. But it's, most, it's mostly inside of a bar, so that would be weird. Yeah, <laughs> that would be Clean weird. the place up, man. All the tumbleweeds here. Yeah. So yeah, it starts yeah. with uh, uh, yeah, let's go to the bar. Yeah. some intro voice I didn't give a fuck about, which goes on for like yeah, five minutes. Yeah, the spinning globe. Yeah, they, ex eh. they, expl they explain where things are happening. I'm like, geography, and I tuned out. And the war. And like, yeah, the like, worst who, who gives travel agent ever. Yeah. Go to Paris, then from Paris go to South France, from South France take a ship to Morocco, from Morocco take a plane or a ship to Lisbon, yes. and from Lisbon you take a ship to the United States. En engaging, engaging movie stuff so yeah. far. But after that, like that, there was this was annoying from the start. But after that, it all just was great. Yeah, I, I will spoil that much. Yeah. If you didn't know, Casablanca like, is a good, a good movie. movie. <laughs> like new, news. Newsflash, guys. Newsflash, Casablanca is yeah. quite all right. Quite, yeah, it was it was a decent movie. You can watch it today, definitely. It's it, not one of those where they say uh, yeah. it's a true oh, classic and it's boring as hell. No, it. it I've seen it for the first time in 2017 now, yeah. and it aged, it aged quite I've, nicely. I've, I've also seen. I have to give some background today. Like a, a few hours ago, for another project, I watched Top Gun. <laughs> mm, did not age as good. <laughs> It's the same subject, though. Uh, absolutely. It's, it's, all, it's all about the two guys. Yeah, like, pretty much the same character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, like, it aged... It, it was just a great movie. I was yeah, entertained really, all through. Really good movie, yeah. I guess in, in CC3, I felt like I was watching for three hours when it was, like, one and a half hour, and this was this, this just flew by. It's yeah, true. Great. Really good movie. Um, yeah, so it, it starts out with, with, with the general situation in Morocco, 
where you have a lot of people bartering the the silver like the jewels and stuff like that to get onto a, like a coyote kind of deal where you yeah get they show you that um, everybody's they, they, desperate it, to get out yes everybody's desperate to get out to get money yeah and it is established that a war is happening <laughs> yeah yeah some that, would so, call so it people, a, a, a second world war yes yeah. probably. Uh, so where it mostly takes place at Rick's bar. Rick is the character played by Humphrey Bogart. Yes. And it mostly plays at his bar, and it, which is kind of a safe haven for all these illegal uh, Ill, uh, things like illegal. I- illegal. Illegal. I'll stick to <laughs> is, it. Is this, this the French? Fuck you. Is this illegal gambling? Is illegal? Casse bon Yes, his bar is called Bar Américain. So. Américain. Uh, so yeah, uh, all all kind of illegal shit is happening there, and. Yeah, totally. It's, it's a great set. Like it, it I want to go there. As soon as the movie starts, yeah, you want to drink and smoke. And oh, th- definitely. This, yes. Yeah. Oh, Humphrey Bogart is the like he. He's more, if you want to have a drinking game where you get fucking wasted. Responsible for like at least a million lung cancer deaths. Yeah. Like he sells smoking a cigarette. Oh, it's so, so fucking well. sexy. Yeah. Holy like, shit. The underhand uh, smoking, yeah. then his overhand. Everything looks cool, and it's. I guess it's also like a tool, an acting tool, to have the cigarette there to to have fill something pauses. to do. Yeah. Yes, most probably that's true. Yeah, but he does it so well that like a lot of a lot of actors in this movie do things to have things to do. Yeah, which I notice because I'm an actor and I know a thing or two. Yeah, but with him you don't notice because it's so natural in his character to smoke and drink all the time. Yes. it's never. You never notice that it is something to do. It, oh, it just it, it's it's him. It's the character. It's oh Rick. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we have this. Same oh, and thing. what I wanted to yeah. say, I, if you want to, if you enjoy uh, drinking games, uh, film drinking games, I think if you want to get really hammered, take a drink every time Humphrey Some Bogart drinks or smokes. the the light version is every time he's, he lights a cigarette, take a drink, and if you want to get really hammered, really fucked up, every time he's, take, he takes, takes a drag, a yeah, okay, just fucking take a sip or a shot, <laughs> you'll be dead. Just as Humphrey Bogart. Mm-hmm. He's dead. Yeah, when you're 1957. He, yeah. he died at the age of 57. Yeah, at 1957, because yes. he was born in 1899. Yes, we know everything. Yeah. Yes, thanks, Internet. Even though it does not seem like it's this man does his research. <laughs> oh, I actually, now I found three, three Austrians who worked in this movie. So... Tell us. Yeah, okay, so the reason why we covered this at FFPÖ is not just because we wanted to do something nice for Georg, <laughs> but also because there are actually three Austrian-Hungarian actors in the end. We have the, the main, I guess, uh, what, what would he be called? Like the second guy? Or it's, it's kind of hard because Laszlo it's not classically part- written, but he comes in as a str- I think he's pretty much a straight guy. Like people play off of him. The guy who plays Laszlo... He he comes in like at the end of the he's first the act. He's the morally unquestionable guy. Yeah, he he leads he's in the second truly act. Good. He's truly he he plays good. great, and he he's the straight guy. Like he's just there to yeah. advance the plot yeah. and to get in a monologue outwards. Yeah, Paul Heinrich, this is na- the actor's name, and then we also have uh, uh, Peter Lor, who was also Austrian Hungarian at birth, and. Uh, who played the, the Weasley character. He was great. He was amazing. He, he has a small role, but he like... He he's, sold he's, that role. He seems like a... Like, he literally seems like a reptile. But he's, yeah, like, at the same time, not uncharming. Like, it's... You want to totally. you wanna root yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's like a sympathetic... Uh, what's his name? Warm Tongue from the uh, Lord of the Rings movies. Oh, I don't the know. The Weasley guy from... In Rohan. Uh, Weasley Raw Guy, Han. Warmy, I don't, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> Mr. <Shit. laughs> Mr. Mr. Warm, Mr. Warm, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So he's a sympathetic version of that, basically, and I guess his enormous eyes help. Yeah, like that's <laughs> he has, that's like, typecast. I guess whoever yeah. whoever casted this movie in general, great job. Yeah, like, like uh, I will talk about this, like I think more when yeah. we go and on. But we the acting is and is, is great throughout, like yeah. for the time. I watched a lot of movies from that time, like from the 1930s, 1950s. This mm-hmm. is from 1942. Mm-hmm. A lot of the acting is very theatrical. And in this movie, it is not. It is very film yeah, acting, like it should a, be. It's and, a film film. And 99% of the actors are great. Like even the small, smaller roles. Like some of the extras you see, they don't have experience or they're not good. But 
Direct. The acting is fucking great. Yeah. Not only the, the leading cast, but the, the supporting characters. Like like this one. Sam. Like Mr. Reptile yeah. face. Mr. Mr. Biggie, Reptile Biggie, Biggie Big Eyes. Yes. He, he has like, I think, five scenes and he's fucking great. Like, he's yeah. killing it. Yeah. And then we have also uh, the comic relief uh, waiter, the fat one. He's also yeah. Austrian. Oh, he, he was fucking great. Yeah, he was great. And, and then we have also Dooley Wilson, who played Sam. The, the the black pianist. I think he, he, he was just charming. I think. I I, I, I like have I have <laughs> to say he's the one of the, of the bigger side characters that I thought did not act well. Really? Like he, he's kind of a sore thumb to me. Like he kind of he misses his cue and his timing. Uh, he's not. He's still not bad, but yeah. he sticks out. Of th- he's a mediocre to good performance mixed in, in with a, a lot of great performances. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <clears throat> I don't and know. I don't think that he plays the piano himself. Yeah, yeah. He has a great voice, though. Oh, that is that is true. He has amazing singing, and he, he looks great. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, yeah, no, they, they all look great in this nineteen forties. And also, way. In, in fucking uh, 90, 90, 32 or 1938, 1939 yeah. Morocco, everyone's wearing suits and dresses. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's nobody's and, uh, business. Everybody's beautiful, and yeah. it's. Yeah, yeah, no, no, the 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 the, <laughs> the, the, the department for, for for fancy clothing for fancy clothing was definitely raided during the film production. Oh, the, uh, it looks great! Like the, yeah. the sets are great. Yeah, and it looks really like even though you're mostly inside, I still had the feeling that we were, yeah. were in Morocco. The only time where I felt like torn apart and we're gonna pu- push a little bit forward yeah. in the plot was when the flashback happened. I didn't like the Paris thing. Like they yeah. could have just explained that, or, or I actually that. liked it. I think you don't like it because of, of how it is shown, like with yeah. the cheap green screen. Yeah, but that's 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 well, the time. Cheap green screen. That was well, now now super cheap. Super expensive green yeah, screen. Yeah, that's that's uh, it's for the times. It seems cheap. Uh, for us, it, che- it, it seems cheap. Yeah, but back then that was that was hard work. They didn't have Final Cut Pro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they only had Final Cut. Yeah, just, yeah. just the amateur version. Yeah, yeah. But this just speaks for the <laughs> movie. They had commercials. <laughs> we are 10 minutes in, in the yeah. category of plot, and we don't have to talk about the plot because nope. everybody knows, and there's so much to talk about. Oh, yes. Like yeah. it's, it's, I'm, I'm having it's a, a great really time while just talking movie. about it. It's a really dense movie because... You, you don't have to give a shit about the plot. Like, every scene you can take on, it's entertaining. We, we, can, we can just talk about, I guess, the characters. That's, that's more... We have Humphrey Bogart as the... As Humphrey? The, H- Humphrey. Well, Humphrey. if if you if you catch me on my illegal, I will catch you on your Humphrey. Yeah. <laughs> mine's mine's way worse, but I have to be be petty now. <laughs> That's fine. We are we are. Hem- Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> oh, and Humphrey Bogart's voice is just yeah, hypnotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His 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 morbidly obese brother is Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to laugh at that, but you got me. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, oh, oh Jesus who Christ. told me to turn off my phone and did not turn off his own I, I turned it on, on silent but not on, without vibrating just kidding it's his anal vibrator yeah yeah, yeah. god damn it goes <laughs> off at the worst times but Humphrey Bogart is yeah and I talked to you about it while we were watching it like yeah. everybody's copying Humphrey Bogart's and James Dean's acting but they're yeah. doing it one dimensional because to it, it seems like he's in they one they a copy it's and yeah copy it seems like because he has, he, it seems like to, uh, the, I say untrained eye, it seems like he has one emotion, but it's not true. Like, he does subtle things so good. Yeah. He, he is all the time, is very cool, but even you see the anger, you see the, the, the pain, love even. The pain in, in the flashback, eyes. he's yeah. very happy, but still is Humphrey Bogart oh, being yeah. fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he, he definitely, he stands out, definitely. Yeah. yeah and, and he was perfectly cast as yeah. this cynical, uh, don't give a shit. Oh yeah. Attitude. And uh, with this great Humphrey Bogart voice all the time. Uh, ah. So, you only get that voice when you smoke. 40, that's what he 40, said. 40, He's a, that's a quote from. How, how did you get a great voice? But uh, I, n- I never drank anything without alcohol. It's something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you, you have great. to drink bourbon and smoke cigarettes to get that smooth of a voice. Uh, <laughs> I'm. I just. I was distracted for a little bit because I'm looking at your wall and yeah. there is. Um, uh, postcards saying I heart big cocks. Yeah, very good. I yeah, like it's, it. It's from Dylan. Uh, Humphrey Bogart was hung. I can tell. Oh, th- yeah. No, he he you, was you, hung. You have, you have to have uh, cojones. And, yeah, and, and, low hanging fruit, as yeah. they say. <laughs> it's clanking at his at his knees. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Big yeah, big he, ball Bogart. They yeah, called yeah. him. That's why he he wore this uh, um, white cut. Yeah, jean, uh, <laughs> those baggy those baggy pants. Yeah. yeah. Definitely to to hide that moose cock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
um yeah no he was great uh, the, the side characters were great did you have uh, a favorite side character uh, yeah definitely definitely uh, for me it was uh <laughs> actually mr ferrari <laughs> uh, the, the fat german guy it, no he was he german Oh, the, Italian. In, in the movie he was yeah. like the guy, the guy who slaps the, the flies. Yeah, exactly. He's oh yeah, Italian. he was great. He's Italian. Yeah, Mr. I'm Fer sorry, <laughs> sorry, so Mr. Freak. Ferrari. And Mr. Ferrari was just I don't know, really slimy. But at the same yeah. time, at the end, he, he's like a really huggable bear because he helps them out. With, it's with great everything. writing. Like every character, even like all of no <laughs> nobody has morals or. A, n almost nobody. Laszlo yeah. has morals, but everybody else is kind of uh, unscrupulous. Yeah. But they're still charming as fuck. My favorite side character is like the guy who's in the end scene with the beautiful friendship quote. Oh, like yes. he, he's yeah, no, such okay, a yeah, he's, he's such a slime ball that I you he's so really lovable. Call him a side character because he shows up so much. Well, he's the main side side character. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. But he's great. Like he's that's that would have been a great buddy cop movie. Oh yeah, the, like the sequel. Bogart, uh, Casablanca two. Yeah. <laughs> Just the an 80s uh, co cocaine detective movie. Yeah. I'd, I'd watch the fuck out of that. Casablanca to Electric yeah, but he, he's, like I'm thinking all the time watching him. He's kind of despicable. Yeah. But I cannot not love him. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, fucking and, great. And fucking stylish on point. That motherfucker. Oh yeah. Like <laughs> you, I didn't even notice until you told me that most of the time he's wearing his military cap sideways. Mm -hmm. Like what a baller. Yeah, he's wearing a normal. Semi hard head. I'm also semi hard when I see him. Uh, that's that mustache, man. That mustache. Ah, yeah. the mustache nobody, game nobody is point on. Nobody can wear that right now without looking like a douche. Mm, Brad Pitt looks good with a stash. Yeah, well, come on, man. That's that's like reaching in really yeah, deep to, to that's put unfair. pick some out. I out. think I, yeah, because I think he could wear shit on his forehead and it still look good. Yeah. <laughs> That, that would be a great NS, uh, NSL, uh, SNL sketch. Like, Brad Pitt could literally shit his pants and it would be erotic as yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the new... So, uh, we, we covered yeah. zero plots in the section plot. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we, we, we did really well, I think. Yeah, I, we, did, we did right at this great movie. But I'm, I'm having a ball. Yeah, just watch I, the I'm fucking movie, guys. I'm actually having two balls. Guys. If it you is, don't know the plots, just like, watch the movie. I'm usually somebody who, if... Somebody co comes to me and says, these are the greatest movies, watch them. Yeah. Something in me goes, no, I will not watch because you told yeah. me to. Yeah. And it's the same with this. I didn't watch yeah. it until now because uh, for the podcast. Yeah. And wow, what an experience. Yeah, yeah. Fucking great movie. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, just watch, <laughs> watch the damn movie, guys. Almost as good as CC Part 3. <laughs> yeah. Almost. Yeah, the only thing missing at Casablanca is that it is not in color. That it is not CC3, I think. Yeah, CC3 Which is the best movie ever made, as yeah. we all know. That's a fact. Yeah. It's scientifically proven. Yeah, scientifically proven by us. Just listen in to the, the episode that we did on that, if you haven't yet. Yes, but let's move on. Let's move on to, to a, a very exciting, in my opinion, a very exciting topic, and that's... Cinematography! Because, damn! It is, this is wow. a pretty movie. This it, is a pretty it, movie. Because it does something that I appreciate now, which a lot of people don't do anymore. It's like big money, big spending, big scenes. Yeah. They do simple stuff so effectively, just yeah. with lighting and the one shot like where they walk from room to room. And yes. The camera and goes the behind shadow, the set. Yeah, and you see wow. the shadow, shadow on the wall. Yeah. And it, it's in black and white that helps, but... Uh, like the lighting, yeah. it's fucking good. Very steady shots. Very subtle things that just change the mood. Like there's yeah. when when Rick has a curfew, he has to close down his bar. Yeah. And then the searchlights go on, and they show them a yeah. little scene where outside the searchlights are. Yeah. And then he's inside drinking himself silly because he's in love. Yeah. And, and all the time outside, there's always the searchlight going on, and that just sets the mood so perfectly. Because other, if it wasn't like that, he'd be inside just drinking. But he has to be inside because of the curfew. Yeah. So, I don't know, it just adds another level to it, another layer. Oh, yes, yes. Then you have, again, the, the camera work is impeccable because it, it's, it's very steady. Like, you, you don't see the, the camera shaking or any shit like that. And even when they have those swivel shots where they move yeah, the camera, it's fucking, it's, it's like, a, like it's a masterpiece. Guy, like, it's, like a robot is, is doing that. Yeah, at that like point. Who, whoever but they had that to was. Do that by, by, by hand, yes. Right? 
Like, yeah, so, holy shit, I, I would really like to know how many shots they had per take, oh, how many fuck, takes per yeah, shot, right? Yeah, there. yeah, and the, the, the meters and meters of film. Like, it's all those things, that, yeah. like, everything's perfect. Sound is perfect, cinematography is perfect, the acting is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, not perfect, yeah. but near perfect. Yeah, there, there was this one moment where I noticed that she yeah, was the, out of the focus, the fo and the guy behind her was in focus, yeah, it's, and it's, I didn't it's a scene know that with, was uh, the actress who plays Ilza and Laszlo, yeah, exactly. and she's in the foreground having a little monologue, or like a dialogue with yeah. Humphrey, and she's out of focus. But my, my guess was that she had a fight with the cameraman. Yeah, or this, the, the head of cinematography. Or maybe that's just how she looks. <laughs> she's like, always fuzzy. Do, do you know the, th the theory about Sasquatch? Like the, uh, okay, or that Bigfoot? He, that they are just blurry? Yeah, yeah that's just, like every, every photo of Bigfoot is blurry, but maybe he is just blurry. I think that's a Mitch Hedberg joke. Oh, okay, all right. Credit by credits, too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're, 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 we're not stoke cheelers. Stoke cheelers? Yeah, joke stealers. Stoke cheelers. Il illegal. Il Ill Ill illegal stoke st cheelers. St stoke cheeling is illegal. Yeah. <laughs> that's our new art house film. <laughs> <laughs> illegal uh, stoke cheelers. Ill illegal stoke stealing. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, and then we had um, even the action scenes where it ramps up, where we only have like truly two action scenes. But they are well placed. The shoot, the shooter at the beginning. And yeah, the, where, where Snake the Eye guy. The German at the end. Yeah. Yes. Do, 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 not, do not do not take that phone call. Yeah. <laughs> I will take the phone call. You will not take the phone call. I will shoot you. You will not shoot me. And he <laughs> shoots him. But like like without moving. And also it was a Han Solo moment. Where, where he the shot other, first, yeah. yeah. He shot first, but the other guy still pulled his gun. Yeah. Well, I'm like, yeah, idiot. Of course. <laughs> like it's always this ex exaggerated. Yeah. Pulling of the gun. Yeah, 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 not like a quick. Yeah, like no, 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 not a quick draw. Three away, guy. <laughs> Just. Maybe this is a German way of pulling a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, they I trained. will pull my I, pistol with a great arcing I, of the elbow. Yeah, I trained it and at. Uh, so I learned it at ballet school. school. That's how I'll do it. Ballet gun school, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Austrians making fun of Germans with yeah. Austrian accents in cheap, their English. Cheap, cheap, cheap. But Very that's how we are, cheap bastards. Yeah. <laughs> I never said that we were above any kind of joke. We're here. below everything, but yeah. we act as if we're above everything, yes. which makes us Austrians. I would have said assholes, but that's yeah, yeah, the same, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> potato, potato. Um, potato, toma potato, yeah. Tomato, po paradise. Kartoffel, kartoffel. Oh. Erdäpfel, bitte. Erdäpfel, kartoffel. Yeah, exactly. Oh, some, some, some good jokes. Here. So, still, um, still didn't cover shit. Yeah, um, we're, we're doing great. What, what, what else? Uh, cinematography wise, um, there, there were some, there were some old school. Like it, it felt very modern. The, the way they shot the movie in yeah. some regards, and then in some regards it was really old. Like the where, where they. First of all, it's four by three, yeah, which already limits limits the whole thing in 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 like a that's true panavision. Keep kind going, of you're doing great. Yeah, thank you, thank you. You're on a roll. Yeah, and I will not the, interrupt the, you. <laughs> the, Keep going. The other thing that I uh, thought was uh, interesting was the the close-ups of the faces. Mm. Like I know they they're down a, too. They they, they th those reaction shots are very very much of the time like yeah. nobody is doing them that way anymore but because that's true, you but either again, frame them to the right or to the left never center and from yeah, a, weirdly from above but like it's something that i really like angle. because it again goes into the category of uh simple tools but massive effect mm -hmm. because they i noted down uh, a lot of when there's dialogue they close up when there's walking they, they walk with the guy it's yes it's, it, it sounds very simple but it, it does what it has to do all the time. Yeah. There's not really a bad cut or a bad uh, camera work. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, praise, what are, what are you noting down? You're writing something down? Praise is did I, pra I just thought of the secret category. Oh, uh, from I, I did not read it from because from here it looked like you wrote down queef. <laughs> I guess we're not talking enough, about queefs. Enough, How many enough. queefs do you think were on Casablanca's <laughs> set? I'm going to say seven. Seven queefs? Seven queefs. Yeah. That sounds like a weird version of the Christmas song. Uh, seven queefs. Na, 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 na. <laughs> seven, oh, how does it go? Eight uh, for her hearts. Dun, 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 dun. But isn't there... Na, 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 oh, I, 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 I thought of another Christmas song oh. that goes like... On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me I, I seven I've queefs, up, six shards. I meshed 
up to you mashed up yeah I mashed up I you mashed up, mashed up. To, I mashed, god damn Austrian here as a co-host <laughs> god damn it dragging me well, down well y- you will still actively dragging you, you me can, down you can do whatever you want you will s- uh, I, I said illegal so I'm, I'm fucked forever <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, let's let's move on to sounds. Let's not <laughs> talk during the no, sound uh, segment. No, uh, yes. <laughs> do do you know Durfallmann? <laughs> this, this is totally off topic. Diary by the way. man. Yeah, there's uh, a, there's I a don't cartoon. Know Diary man. No. Uh, it's it's a cartoon about a guy who can fly by having uh, sh- explosive oh, propelling shit. Yeah, okay, yes. I get the concept. And because you said sound, like his his quote is when. Durchfallmann is is yeah. and like his bad sign he says Durchfallmann <laughs> and you said sound it. so I was reminded of a guy uh, flying you, by shitting you, you mean I, I I am the guy who um, shits his pants no not 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 that because I do I think plagiarized that. Durchfallmann not on purpose no, no. <laughs> but it, it, it reminded me I of Durchfallmann I accidentally plagiarized Durchfallmann that's even worse. <laughs> That's even... I, I don't know. Diarrhea, man. That two, two guys have the same stupid idea. But whatever. Let's go to sound. You sound. could you could understand everybody in this movie. Really. Even though there were some ADR lines where the, the lips didn't yeah, but sync it, up. You have that in, in pretty much every movie. So yeah. I'll give a pass to that. Yeah. And Regarding to, how everything is so fucking great. But thanks to shooting great. most of the stuff inside, the, the sound was really good. I thought, uh, at least from a from an audibility really? level. Really, I thought it was very shit. No, it was great. It was yeah. Even even the the, the 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 guitar lady who sang. Yeah. And I don't normally appreciate that kind of high C singing. Uh, but, <laughs> the, but that's a very fifties thing to do, like an interlude with a live performance. Yeah, yeah. But even that one, I wasn't really. I, I like I, it. I actually enjoyed that to a certain degree. Yeah. As much as somebody it, it kind who of li- it, it lightened like the, the mood thing. because it was very intense before and after. So it, it it's kind of makes sense in a dramatic way too, like in a writing yeah, way. To have a pause in there. Yeah. Yeah. And something I really appreciated is like pretty much the theme song is uh, the oh, song that so Sa- Sam plays. Yes. What, what's it called? D- did you write it down? <laughs> nope. Well, so much for <laughs> being wow, prepared. We 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 we're we really good at this. But yeah, the song. Just look up song. Yeah. Casablanca. And boom. What, and it, it's uh, yeah. the scene everybody knows are the scenes where they say to Sam to play the song and he plays it all over. And what I noticed by watching the movie is that they use the theme melody, the, the song of the theme melody, in, in different dramatic effects. Like, it's in the background, but it's more dramatic suddenly. Yeah. But it's a theme song. Yeah, yeah. And I, thought, I thought that was great. Yeah, a recurring theme. Yes. Of sorts. Thank yeah, no, they, 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 they played the music angle really well. I thought they, yeah. they they had the upbeat French music oh, in the flashback scene, yes. which which added to the whole. Oh, we're all happy, yeah. even though the Nazis are coming, it, <laughs> because it was five that's true. days yeah, yeah. before the fall of Paris. The Nazis are coming. Let's get drunk. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Oh, but, I am in trouble. Yeah, I'm drinking all the champagne. Oh yeah, drinking is they they drink a little bit in this movie. Yeah, uh, but you never hear gulping or something like they that. They drink all the time. Like, yeah, it's kind of like Mad Men. <laughs> but but I like just way before Mad Men. like two weeks I, ago I never I fin- got I into it my, I finished Mad Men I, I, I watched tr- I the watched first three seasons when it came out yeah. then I paused now I finished it I, I read because I wanted to know the, the lore and the story yeah. I read everything because I, I kind of didn't get into it mm. I watched like the first six or seven episodes and I'm like yeah, yeah I guess it's, it's hard to get into that's what she said um <clears throat> I, I was about protect myself from I was this about podcast. to Thank I was about to do a similar joke so gr- <laughs> you you took Two the idiots gr- think alike. Yeah, you took the grenade on this one. <laughs> you're like you're still you're the idiot who still doesn't it's, pick I'm, out I'm, the pin. Yeah, yeah I'm still holding I'm the, it. The guy who already pulled the pin and threw the grenade <laughs> yeah. against the wall and bounced back in my face. And the colonel comes, "Oh great, you didn't do it." I'm like, okay. <laughs> "Yes, H- hiding my grenade. <laughs> I have never thought think about a thing like that." <clears throat> oh, I love it. <laughs> Um, yeah, the sound. Uh, what else? Can Impeccable. We say? Uh, it it is a very musical film, but the music never yeah. s- sticks out or stands in the way. It, it serves its purpose perfectly. The plane noises 
I think was 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 something. Oh yeah, that, that so, sound for me always is music. So yes, yeah. sound design of course they were technically a little more limited, I guess. Yeah, with the, it, with it, the recording after with the post production. You knew what 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 sounds were. Yes, I I knew that it was a plane. Yeah, <laughs> so, so it it did not go moo or something. Yeah. So. <laughs> That would that would have thrown off the whole audience from Casablanca. That would have been the a different last movie. Scene with the last plane, they had just replaced the rotary noise of the of the of the propeller with 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 moose. Do do you think that uh, Blanca from Street Fighter Two call, calls his? <laughs> do you think that he calls his, his home, home Casablanca? Casablanca? <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. Oh, that's a this really good reference. I'm, I'm very proud of it, but it can't be the first time that this has been done. Probably, yeah. But I, I, I still take credit. Uh, huh? I still will take credit for it. Uh, this is pr the very first time this Wait, joke has ever been made, I'm don't, sure. Don't Spanish people say Casablanca to the White House? Uh, No, I don't know. I'm going to say no, just because I want to spite you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> 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 Go eat shit and die. Alright, alright. This took a different turn so suddenly. President Blanca yes. is in the Casa Blanca watching Casa Blanca. So it would be Casa Blanca Blanca. Yeah. Awesome. Which, which sounds like a song. Casa Blanca Blanca. Da 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 da. Na 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 na. You can, add, you can put everything to, to, to that melody. Casa Blanca. Casa Blanca. Yeah. Oh, that's. Um, yeah, do you know it? It's an 80s song. Uh, I can give uh, it a... Can, no, no. Oh, oh, right. I, 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 I <laughs> can give it a lead melody. It's Elvis Presley. Uh, yeah, obviously. definitely. Yeah. Later Lo years. Love Me Tender. Yeah, his later years. It was... His remix later... It was... Uh, take me on... Yes. Aha. Yes, aha, uh -huh, but it's yeah. not take me on, it's... Take on me. Right. Yeah. You win nothing. <laughs> Yay! Just like on your show. Uh yes. <laughs> There's only losers on everything involving me. Yes. So let's move on to past moments. Which is a category that for some reason I also wrote down, even though it's something yeah, you it's make empty. up. It's empty. Yeah, I'm because you pretty were stupid. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes, I am. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my best moment was, I guess, because it's personal, the moment I figured out w what that she was already married to the to Lazlov. <laughs> because you figured it out and you were very proud of it. And, and R you, rightly, and you, rightly so. Yeah, and you were like, like you, nah, you, I don't know. I wasn't like, now. Nah, like, let's see. Yeah, let's see. But you Sherlock that shit. Yeah. Like, fr I, from, like, minutes 15 or uh, when last was seen. Like, yeah. It's like that. And it yeah. was like that. So, Although, tipping my head. Fair, maybe I have residual knowledge from somewhere where I saw a scene where they... Wow, you're an in. asshole then. Fuck you. Yeah, I don't, Go die. I, the, the thing is, though, I don't know anymore. So... No, I'll give you full credit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I figured that shit out, like... Minute twenty like or something no, like that. Nobody's that was business. my favorite moment in the movie where I like, like yeah, I, I already have I have everything done. And the second one would be definitely just for me was the watch moment. Oh yeah, where they made do an explain Austrian, an, an Austrian. Uh, they made an uh, they had a German or Austrian couple in the bar, and yeah. the waiter is also Austrian, and they 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 celebrate uh, that the two got out of out of. Uh, Morocco and get yes, to and, go and they to got Lisbon. their new papers for being now officially American. Yeah, exactly. Like, like fake papers. Yeah, and they they started using <laughs> they lang escaped English the, the language, world war. and they fuck up a few times. And the most, the, the the one that seared itself into my brain was that they they uh, translated "ur" and "watch" synonymously and 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 made a made a funny out L of it yeah like uh, i w i think we have to give context because in in <laughs> austrian german in, in the yeah. german language you say like when it's two o'clock we say zwei uhr which yeah. literally translates to two clock yeah and they did it with watch so they said instead of 10 o'clock they yeah. said 10 watch yeah exactly so it would be like 10 clock yeah <laughs> so whoever it was a very intricate detail that i think went beyond everybody the elves, yeah. it, wa it wasn't the, for the american the audience the contemporary audience was like yeah eh, what well, except well, for the all the refugees all of the german and austrian refugees were, who were in cinemas at that point 
maybe maybe that's the, maybe that was the, their way of bringing that part of the audience into the film i don't know it was a it was a humanizing moment it it was something where i'm like yep the same mistake I, but i have like, to say like i my, think my, my grandparents would have made that same mistake probably that is one of the only scenes like what i really liked about the movie is like almost every scene serves a purpose yeah like a lot of bad writing or bad written movies is scenes that if you cut them out the yeah. movie's still the same. same yeah and i think this is even though it's entertaining this is one of the scenes that you could go without like it, it mm-hmm. doesn't it doesn't add anything to the story but it's, it's, it's fun they had fun it's good because they're allowed to do it because everything they have like two or three comic relief scenes yeah and this is one of them even though it's more subtle than the others so i'll give them a pass but yeah, that's yes. Give it's, Casablanca a pass. It might be. Yeah, it does need. It does, need, it does need the approval of me, internet <laughs> loser Georg Alba. <laughs> because I don't think it will go on far beyond what it is now. Yeah, they never made a sequel again. Yeah, yeah they never I don't think it will do it good at the box office. When does it come out? This was a pre-screening, right? Yeah. <laughs> but ve- ve- very, <laughs> very artsy with the that black was and white. From the Sony leak. Um, about. Your best moment. You still have to pick one, man. I will. Yeah. Pick wisely. Um, there are some really great scenes in this one. I will go a little off script. I will not say it's a moment. It's a lot of moments. I don't have a script. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. <laughs> um. What? You will tell you tell me this is all improvised? Holy shit. No, uh, my favorite moment are those moments. The film is very quippy. Oh uh, yes, such witty dialogue. Oh. And what, what I liked about it, it's not all Humphrey Bogart. Like mm-hmm. a lot, a lot of the best lines come from other characters. Yeah, and my favorite because it, it never seems cheesy. Like the the, no. ri- the writing is impeccable. Yeah, my favorite moments are you when, don't have an, you don't when have there's an... this fucking great line. Like even today, it's yeah. it's such great writing. Mm-hmm. Like uh, there's um, help me on this one. Maybe you remember. Yeah, to to the end. Like when um, the guy with the cap, the the, the, yes, the charming, French guy. charming yeah. slime ball, yeah, is the gun is pointed. Yeah, I know it. I know it already. Yeah. It's um, <laughs> uh, he says uh, Humphrey Bogart says, "Don't move a step. This gun is pointed right at your heart." Yeah. and the guy says like, "Well, this is my least vulnerable point, or something like yeah, that." Yeah, it's so good. It's so fuck, and he says it with, with such dignity. And he still smiles. And then. Please sit down. No, I will not sit down. I have a gun pointed at you. Well, considering the facts, I may sit down or something like <laughs> yeah. that. That's uh, it, it's paraphrased, but it, he, yeah, yeah, he he sells it like oh, like yeah. a champ. Oh, oh, he would be a am- like as an as an asshole cartoon character from the 1980s or 90s. He would be amazing. But that's the thing. He's not really an asshole because he he yeah, plays against everybody. He treats everybody in the same shitty way. He yeah. plays against all of them. Yeah, it's uh, he's very. He's very rounded. He's very well. Like, like he's probably better written than, than the Bogart character because I guess so. Yeah, because, because it's, he's in a more difficult position. Yeah, that, that's that, a, that's a writing thing. The, yeah. the the main character is easy to write because there's one motive he has to follow. Yeah, love, but a good side character case. has to show all the emotions the main character doesn't. Yeah, and he does. Like he has fun doing what he does. Uh-huh. And Bogart is always like, oh, this is. I have to carry all the whole yeah, world on my shoulders, shoulders and yeah, everything and I do all my comes bad yeah everything has me and stuff yeah everything like has like everything is collateral damage and he's just there and he enjoys his work even though it's shady <laughs> super shady <laughs> working for the Vichy country it's a little bit shady <laughs> <laughs> a very great commercial <laughs> working for a Vichy country it's a bit shady yeah also we get uh, you get 50% off at every Vichy <laughs> Vichy partner seller um all right yeah so, uh, so yeah my best moments are those quips yeah. like they are fantastic yeah, so it's like a that feeds it's perfect- like a good book look in movie form that feeds perfectly into a secret category man and I'm that is so stoked yes i am gonna come in my pants yes please just kidding i already did <laughs> thrice thrice it's quoted again sam Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> I know where you're going with this, because and I didn't pay attention. Because there are some great quotes in this, but the most quoted quote is mis is misquoted yeah. in this movie. You want to say quote one more time? <laughs> uh, I think I filled my quota on quotes today. <laughs> See, I give it a little minor key at the end. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> um, 
there, there's some there's some amazing lines in this one. Fuck yeah. Amazing lines. Like, I mean uh PG thirteen fruit yeah. <laughs> It's rated R on iTunes. Like so we, yeah, fine. we've been cursing yeah. all the time and, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. taking hard yeah. drugs uh, and, and <laughs> selling people while we're doing this. Yes, yeah. just kidding. Oh, we're yeah, not taking drugs. Exactly. Um, where where Humphrey Bogart at the beginning says that uh, he's no, uh, I'm not in the business of selling humans. Yeah. I, that alone establishes him, his character, especially like, for the time. Yeah. Well, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> Slavery was already abolished. Like. Yeah, but but it was still a, it was that. still a, a time where, uh, especially during World War Two, yeah, where uh, certain human beings weren't treated as humans. So I, <laughs> I, I, oh, really? I thought he he yeah. was established well, as you said. Yeah. So that like was, he's above all the Second World War and, bullshit. And that just starts a really good movie. And, yes. And not even Humphrey Bogart doesn't even he has the best lines in this one definitely most but of them yes most of them but there's still such again the french guy with the crook uh, with the swiveled hat he alone steals like a third of the scenes that he's in yeah that's it's true just like i'm i'm the best character in this one i have such amazing lines like the writing yeah. of this one is that's, that, by the way that sounds like an, an indie band the the french guy with the swiveled hats okay. Yeah, the, yeah. I, 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 New I, album coming out. Yes, yes. The French guy with the swiveled hat. <laughs> and it's only the, the whole. Song. Or a very it's all indie about movie. Casablanca themed music. <laughs> that would be great. A Casablanca themed uh, um, 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 indie band. Swivel with my hat. Or uh, they could combine them with classical music and go as Humphrey Mozart. <laughs> yeah, DJ. DJ Humphrey Mozart. DJ Humphrey Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I that Humphrey one, Bogart Funkel. What, what, what was your uh, quoted again, Sam? Moment um, where, where, where you like were caught into the film with a quote. Well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to do a thing with a quote, but not the uh, being sucked yeah. in. Like a little bit, a quote that is very, very famous from the movie, and it's it is said three or four times, mm -hmm. and I don't understand it. Okay, it's here's looking at you, kid. Yeah. What does that even mean? I mean, he plays it. I I know what he's trying to uh, he, he emote. Like he's yeah. emoting, but he could just say cheers, or I like uh, you. I but, guess it's more. But of what does term of? Um, I know, but what what does the line itself mean? Oh, uh, I have no fuck. Here's looking at. I'm, <laughs> does it mean I'm watching you or yeah. cheers to you? This I, I, I guess, never got it. But I, I thought maybe the movie like, gave me context. But nope, still in the dark. It's, it's more in a spiritual way that I see you. But it's such you a random thing. He could have said anything. He could have, of course, of course. With his hat, he could have said. But uh, he could have said purple by ostrich pants yeah. or something. <laughs> that it it just doesn't make sense to classic. me. Casablanca. Like, uh, <laughs> Right. It's a classic quote that I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's uh, looking I, at you, I kid. I found a new, another quote, and that's, uh, the Germans have outlawed miracles. Yeah, that was great. That was amazing. I'm like, yep, that's how I feel about Again the and again happens. and again. Great writing. Like, yeah. whoever wrote this, or also, the, the people or the person, maybe. Also, know? they One stopped person. outlawing miracles because they had the German Wirtschaftswunder in the, the 60s. It was, 50s and 60s. It, it was before the WWW. It was just the WWW. Yeah. Not the yeah. www, the www, the Wirtschaftswunder, yeah. not the World Wide Web. <laughs> www.of.at. <laughs> Worldwunder. That, that, that only works with such a small percentage of my audience. Those but if jokes. they laugh, they love us. Yeah, they love, yeah, exactly. Yeah, true. True, true to that. Yeah, true fuck that. the rest of the international Fuck the rest, audience. true that. We're Sorry, getting, India. We're getting reason. very urban now. Yeah. I have, I have a, I have a, for some reason, I have not an audience in India. I don't know why. Oh, I thought for some reason... I'm very urban. I thought that's what you would say. <laughs> I would have, I would have given you a, a beat, and you could have. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I can totally. give you a beat. Do you want to freestyle uh, I'm about really India bad. and I'm Casablanca? Really bad. Okay. In I'm three, two, one. Casablanca is the name of the movie. We a game. We are watching this your movie. It's gonna be real spoofy. Yay! Woo! <laughs> what well, I'm I'm clapping. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. I'm not done. Oh. No, I'm actually so, done. Okay, cool. <laughs>
<laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. I hope the, the mic picked those very, very tiny claps up. Um, yeah. Well, I have very tiny hands. I actually don't have pretty big hands. Yeah. Ladies. Ladies. Uh, my penis is not big, gentlemen. my fingers are amazing. It might be small, but it smells like a big one. I have sausage fingers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, my, my, my hands are sponsored by... Knabonossi. Uh, yeah. Nah, too thin. Too thin, man. Uh, Be- beefy? I would say uh, Bosna? like Kreiner or... Do you have beefy fingers? I have well, I, I, have, I have very... For my, uh, for, my, for my size, body size, I have relatively beefy You're like two feet, hands. two feet, right? <laughs> two feet, I'm, nine? I'm, I'm, I'm really tiny. Yes, yeah. I'm microscopic. Yeah. And, and I'm eight feet, so... Yeah. Yeah, my penis makes 60% of my body mass. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really tiny penis, still. Don't get me <laughs> wrong, yeah? But my body is so tiny. That well, at least you have one. Yeah. <laughs> a body or a penis? Both. Ah, okay. I'm just a gas. <laughs> You're just a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. My dick's so big, it has its own dick. <laughs> That's an original. Quote me on that, and I and again I'm looking at the the postcard. I I, I mean, heart big cock. DVD cover. Yeah. <laughs> Why should this podcast have a DVD? <laughs> it's 2006 again, guys. Yeah. DVDs. Or a Blu-ray, podcast. if we Blue, want to be modern. Blu-ray of our podcast. Wow. wow. Blue, more like blue I balls. I guess I could put all the podcast episodes on a Blu-ray. Whatever. Um. <clears throat> I think we can can move on to our last and final segment. Yes, sir. Final conclusion. It's okay. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> decent. I, I I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. It's 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 all right. Uh, I think we we haven't we haven't we haven't. Uh, it it had kissed. <laughs> yes, that too. Um, um, that's that's for the premium plus members only. If you want to see Georg and me making out afterwards. Um, yeah, just for nineteen ninety nine, you yes. can see us make out on tape. <laughs> on ta- yeah, we will send you a VHS tape. And for twenty ninety nine, you can see us make out with tape. <laughs> that's that's for the weirdos, and that's yeah. all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're yeah, listening, you're probably weirdo. VHS with creamy filling. Mm. Uh, <laughs> put it right into your slit. And VHS stands <clears throat> for very heavy. This sealing. is a very sexual episode. I have. To of say. course, it's with me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I guess CC cock blocked I, us yes. to a certain degree, and I have, I have to compensate. Made our juices flow. Oh yeah, fucking CC. Yeah. Well, fuck Casablanca. Okay, Go watch CC three. <laughs> no, I have. You a, want, I you have want a, to dry up your vagina faster than the Saharan desert? No worries. Listen to watch, this podcast. Yes, also this, but watch CC three. CC free. CC free. Oh, I do have a, con- a conclusion for yes. a final. What, what's the category called? Final, final conclusion. Yeah. Final conclusion. Okay. Um, do this. Okay. It the, the movie makes you want to drink and smoke a lot, which I appreciate. Yes. It's fucking. It validifies your. Don't fucking interrupt me. Oh, keep going. Sorry. <laughs> it validifies your your already strong yeah. opinions on drinking. Absolutely. And smoking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's great, great acting. Like mm. especially um, Humphrey Bogart, who just seems like a one trick pony if you just see look at pictures but he emotes so much just yes. through subtle Again, movements this, of, of his I glances think, or his uh, yeah. speech it's it's great like just watch him <laughs> the next note i have is fucking sissy but i just i think i just was venting uh, it, it's very quippy it's very quotable like if you yeah. like good writing mm-hmm. watch it if you like there's oh, yeah, just only a few action moments but it, they just, work great just watch it on a basis that so much so much movies and TV shows and just yeah. media in general. Oh, like pop uh, culture. I have to go back to cinematography for a moment. Yeah. Cinematography thing. Sure. Like they, they, I think they did a thing first that a lot of movies did and don't do anymore because it's overdone. Like the Humphrey Bogart gets a note from Ilse mm-hmm. and he reads it in the rain. And while he's reading it, the the ink runs. Oh yeah, and it vanishes what she's yeah. writing. And I think that's. Uh, Although Casablanca the, did that first, I they think. They hold up the note long enough that you can fucking read it. But Most while you're reading it, it vanishes. It, it's like, fuck, I have to read fast. It, yeah, it, but it, it gives you a physical yeah, representation of that, how that much first, time you have left. Because yes. most movies show you the letter, close up the letter, and you're like, no, I'm not fucking done yet. I yeah. thought I had another few but, seconds. And that's how Humphrey, Humphrey's characters probably feel at, yeah. at the feels at the moment so that's fucking great like, you get into it like I want it's important I want to read it and it's, and and it's gone and his love is disappearing yeah 
it's amazing visually and everything. So, so my my yeah. So, uh, the the last final last note I wrote down. My yeah. final conclusion is almost as good as Sissy Part Three. Yeah, almost. As almost. Good. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. almost perfect. That's, that's a good rating. I I like that. Yeah. Compared you, you, to the seven schnitzels or what we gave. Uh, I, Sissy. This is uh, eleven drinks out of eight. Yes, definitely eleven drink. Eleven Humphrey Bogart drinks in the park American in Morocco. A hundred cigarettes out of eighty. Yes, F uh, fifty quotes out of forty. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a good quota. Um, guys, thank you for listening, uh, Georg. Uh, you have do, some, do we want to? You have some plugs. You want to? But plug? first, uh, we yes. we we do for our. Uh, Premium Plus members. Yeah, for our Premium Plus members. We did do very little impressions, because that's what we do usually. <laughs> usually! Sh we sh once! Sh sh yeah, usually! So <laughs> it's, it's true, basically. Sh <laughs> shall we do some... 100% of the time we did impressions. Shall we do some Casablanca quotes oh, in impressions? No, yeah, sure. Because yeah. I'm, I'm kind of into uh, the Rick burping mode, even though it's a mediocre Rick. Yeah, it's... it's <laughs> That's actually a parallel universe version of Rick is mediocre. Wait, I'll, I'll try a Casablanca quote as Rick. <laughs> Uh, he was looking at you, the kid. <laughs> I kind of lost interest in my own impression halfway through. <laughs> oh, we can do our go-to thing. We can both do Arnie. <laughs> yes, we could both both do Arnie. <laughs> there you the again, Sam. <laughs> he the was looking at you, kid. Uh, the audience loved this. The <laughs> Germans have outlawed miracles. Oh my God! We can do the dialogue with the gun, like. <laughs> I, I'll be Humphrey Bogart, you'll be the, the swivelly hat guy. Do you know how it oh, goes? Shit. Just, just, just okay, paraphrase yeah, it. Yeah, alright, yeah. Uh, do, do I start, you start? Uh, you, you start. You, 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 wanna, you wanna call the guys. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, I want to... I will call the police. You'd rather not, I got this, this gun pointed right at your heart. <laughs> Luckily for me, my heart is the least vulnerable place. It's stone cold. It's hard. It's frozen. I'm Mr. Freeze of the heart. Well, good for you. Now sit down. <laughs> sit down on your chair. Come on. I will be back and I will kill you. Play the gun, son. I will break your goddamn spine. <laughs> oh, this is Jesus Christ. This looks bad on the monitor. <laughs> Bleeding ears all oh, over. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry for, for this outburst of Arnie. <laughs> or... Uh, 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 I think you can do just a simple Rick impression by burping and going. Uh, yeah. uh, oh shit! I totally forgot. We got Colonel Sanders again in this fucking movie. You're obsessed with Colonel Sanders. You see him but everywhere. He's still in this fucking movie. You agree, right? He 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 was. In well, the movie. all the movies we watched too so far. So yeah. <laughs> I'm doing your thing now. Do you like it, <laughs> bitch? Gotcha. <laughs> Fed you your own medicine. <laughs> You prick! <laughs> I will do my plug now, but I don't. Yes, well, plug uh, me. What, watch the Schneid Schneider show on YouTube. Yes. And definitely watch the fucking Schneid Schneider show. And uh, I don't know, just Google yeah. me, Georg Rauber. I'll, I'll add you on there, Facebook. There might become might be coming a collab in this case between the two. Oh us yeah, it might. Directors commentaries. Slight spoilers, yes, very uh, slight spoilers. Uh, spoilers, Marty. <laughs> like in twenty episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is coming out in like a month or so. I'm coming out in a month. Nice. Good on you. Yes. That ties up nicely with the... the premium podcast. content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the premium kissing content. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, coming out video, I, I like it. Pre okay, now we have to end yes. because I really have to pee pee. Okay. Out of my wee wee. What else? Schnitzschneider show. Uh, you are on, on a TV show that people can yeah, watch. Yeah, I was on uh, Soko Kids Bühne. Yeah. I will be on Soko Donau. I actually should cover that. Are there English subtitles for Soko? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. I have to write the fucking yes. subtitles. Oh, God of damn course. It. Can you get me the scripts at least so I can translate I, from them, not from I, the fucking... I, I threw it away. Oh, motherfucker. I, I don't... I, I get so many... Well, not as many as I'd like, but I, I can't keep oh, all the so scripts. Oh, I get all those I get scripts. All, I get all the scripts. I, get I have all so thrown away or my huge villa is yeah. filled up with the scripts. The, uh, like I said, like, uh, <laughs> apparently the demand for uh, casting 
uh, 1980s uh, uh, drug dealers drug dealers from Miami very, from Miami is very well, well, well that's or you have a boat a I'm, boat. I'm, I'm wearing a, a Hawaiian shirt an extra large Hawaiian shirt it, it does it does suit you nicely though. thank you so. I bought it for two bucks Nice. Uh, like six years ago, and I still wow, still wear it. Wow, that that's that's a sweet deal, man. It's from the Caritas shop. <laughs> when I was really rather poor. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. I <laughs> I, I, I feel the pain of not having money. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to this podcast. Yes. Subscribe, please. Please. I'm really please. poor. Um, uh, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Uh, uh, um, now we're just burping. something else. You, where people can, uh, can, can no, you. just add me on Facebook if you want to throw me a line. Yes, I'm, I'm yes. very open Link to adding. Link is in the description below, as always. Thank you very much. Thank you, Georg, for being here. It has been a pleasure. Yes. Now, now on to the premium. I'm content. still, mi I'm still missing CC3, but yeah, there's no I got CC4. to watch a, a mediocre, okay movie like Casablanca. We can it was always okay. Lissy und der Wilde Kaiser. That's oh, on Netflix look, look, look. now. Well, I have something. I can combine those two things with one quote. Yes. You'll be amazed. Oh, Are you please. ready? Yes. Are you ready for this? Yes. I'll, I'll try it in my most Bogart voice, <laughs> which is very not Bogart, but here we go. Bogart boys. Bogart boys. <laughs> we'll always have CC3. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, guys. Bye. See ya.